Have you been playing Genshin Impact since the beginning? If so, then get ready to feel old. Remember how terrible Expedition Quest used to be? Where if you sent a character on an expedition, you literally could not use them until they finish. So that meant if you used a character for their expedition bonus, you couldn't use them. Even if they were your only strong character. Now, remember when we used to get character leaks? I mean, we still do, but back then we used to get these like T-Pose models and a lot of the time they ended up changing. For example, Kakomi changed quite a bit from her old model and some characters like Xiao got a change too. I personally like these changes a lot more and think that the current designs for these two are perfect for them. Remember when Diluc used to be one of the most popular and strongest characters in the game? He's unfortunately fallen off really hard, but I just remember all the times when my friends would spend the first few days playing Genshin re-rolling until they would have both Diluc and Venti on their account and then brag about how powerful their account was. I mean, do you guys even remember the initial patch 1.0 tier list? I mean, just look at this. Huh? Huh? Remember how we didn't used to have any playable Dendro characters? Oh wait, we still don't have any. Remember the first time you pulled a Chi Chi and you were actually super hyped because it was probably your first 5 star and you needed a healer anyway? But then throughout the months you got her again and again and again and then suddenly you have a C4 Chi Chi? Just me? Please tell me it's not just me. Remember the first time we fought Devalin and it made us do this cool fight scene where we fly after him and shoot at his back? We need more cool fighting mechanics like this in the game. Speaking of fighting Devalin, was I the only one that didn't know that we had to jump to a different platform that wasn't on fire and just kind of burned until my character passed out and got frustrated until I looked up a guide on YouTube? Remember how fun it was to pick up boss loot one item at a time? But do you remember how unfun it was when Eventy decided to ult off the edge and all of the artifacts just flew off the map? I hope you never did this to anyone else. This was really mean. Remember the first time you discovered bee hopping and you thought it was the greatest thing in the world, but then you also learned that some of your favorite characters couldn't do it and you were like, why isn't it possible? It's just not. Why? Not, you stupid bat. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this article before, but back in the day, people used to complain that MiHoYo was running out of character designs, but I think they're doing just fine. Remember when the first anniversary for Genshin was so bad that the App Store got spammed with one-star reviews? I'm hoping the second anniversary that's happening in a few months is going to be a great one. Remember when they added the Golden Apple Archipelago, where the plot was literally that Klee is being threatened by someone named Dodo King, and we have to go help her prove that Klee and her keychain are family? The actual island itself was so much fun, and I actually enjoyed exploring and doing all of the puzzles there. We haven't gotten content quite like that since, and honestly, I really want them to bring back the island itself. I also can't believe that after all we got put through, the person behind it all was Klee's mom. But it is now meaningless because... Because Dodo King is me! <laughs> Your mother, Alice! Huh? Mom? Let me know down below if this video made you feel old, and please feel free to check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching!